Hey, what's going on everybody? Blazer here coming at you with another Naruto Shinobi Collection video. And as you can see, these are the second Kizunas I was talking about at the beginning of the month when um, the Naruto and Minato came out. Um, they're really fucking good too. And it's a Sasuke and Sakura Kizuna. I would have never thought they would have made one because they don't really work together. Like, I mean, in the Shin Den novels, they work together. I think they had to go get uh, like a, some medicine for like Naruto's chakra disease or something and they work together. But um, outside of that, they never like really seem together like that. So... I don't know what their Kizuna skills are going to look like or anything like that. So I can't wait to see what this is going to look like tomorrow. I really want to see what is their skills going to even look like. Because even in Team 4, Sakura and Sasuke don't have like a team ult together. But Naruto and Hinata do. So I'm curious to see what there's this. this I'm curious to see what this is going to look like. Are, is he going to like slash it with a purple sword? And is he going to come down and punch him? The cherry blossom peel? I don't know how it's going to look. But let's read the Sakura Kizuna first. And then we'll get into it. Um... Her first skill is Grand Demolition. Grand Demolition. I don't know what the fuck I was reading. Grand Demolition Cherry Blossom Pierce. It deals 1,390,000 fixed damage to all enemies. Inflict one turn of remove and immune to positive special state and god state effect to um, deal four additional attacks dealing 3% plus 390,000 under the feelings uh, soccer unique state. Okay, cool. So for one turn, she can rem remove and immune to positive special state and god state effect. That's actually really cool. You can remove it, and then you can make you you be immune to it. But it's only for one turn, though. Still fucking good as fuck, though. I like Nar. I don't think I like Naruto skip and right like, removes po removes positive god states and um and um what's the name god state and positive states. I kind I kind of like that Naruto skill more with that. That's just just dumb to me. It skips too. I'm like Jesus Christ. So you not only that, but you don't get a turn. Like fuck. Um. Second skill. Finally, you return. This is when she's happy that Sasuke came back. Um, Sasuke's face on his art look, looks weird to me. I don't know why. I still like it because it's Sasuke, but his face looks weird to me. I don't know. Um, recover 2 million HP and speed in defense to plus 200% to party. Remove negative special state and god state to party. Grant the conveyance state to um, Konoha allies. Grant feelings for Sasuke unique to state to self. Um, conveyance and... Incoming skill damage minus 150% or recover 30% HP when attacked. Feelings for Sasuke. Um, remove and immune to debuff stats effects. Genju to negative special state and god state. High chance for insta kill immunity. Cool. It was high chance of insta kill immunity. I like that. Um, it says unique state. Hold on. I want to look at that again. It says the grant feelings for Sasuke unique state. That's different than a positive special state or a negative special state or anything like that or a god state. Because they're not a god, so they couldn't cast a god state anyway. So this is a completely individually new, new thing. Unique state to self. And since it's a new thing, it's going to be like what immunity was when it first came out, and then it had no counters to it. It'll have counters to it in the future, presumably, but for right now, there's no way to remove this unique state. So this is going to be a new thing now. Unique state. Not a positive special state, or a negative special state. Not a negative god state. Not a positive god state. But a unique state. These are different things, then. So these different things doesn't have a counter to it so if it gets hit you know if you get hit with it or it gets used you um you're pretty much fucked because there's no way to get rid of it that's awesome that's that's <laughs> that's fucking thanks sakura who would have thought you would be the unit to cast that um leader skill going on cast speed plus one speed plus 100 percent for three turns skill immunity um ability one upon exchanging from sakura grant the feelings for sakura you need to stay oh my god so if you change it automatically, so there's no way to stop this. You have to melt Sakura immediately. You have to insta kill Sakura as soon as she came out, frame one, for you to even, for you to avoid this unique state. You would, and then, and then you would have to hope that. Can you give her? No, okay, so you can't give her insta kill immediately with her potential system. Let me see. Uh, revive plus three, grant instant action upon a withstand. Chance for first strike guaranteed if there's a god. Incoming skill is minus 50%. Ouch. It's going to take forever to kill. And then type advantage against red and black typing enemies. Um, That unique state is fucking annoying. That's annoying. Remove an immune to debuff. That's facts. Getting you to negative special state and god state. High chance of insta-kill immunity. So if, you, if, so if this bitch switches. If she fucking switches. That unique state will pop off. And you will be sad. Because you can't do anything to her. I mean, you can still insta kill her. It's just, just, just know that there's a high chance that she will have immunity, and it's going to be a very low chance that you're going to actually land the insta kill. So, um, yeah, have fun with that.
which, I mean, Toby Izuna is probably, like, the main unit I can think of off the top of my head that a lot of people are trying to insta-kill with. But, um, yeah, Sakura, I don't know why you're, I don't know, that unique state is stupid. What the fuck? Immune to debuffs, that's effects, getting jutsu, negative special state, and gods, oh my god. So you don't even need to do anything. You can just switch straight to Sakura. You can just switch from Sakura to Sasuke, and you'll be fine. And then Sasuke, okay, so he got a double S tier. So, of course, they had to make Sasuke the, the, the worst one of the, the, the two, of the two. Because they just love shafting Sasuke in this game. They give Sasuke a good unit, then immediately shaft him. It's really fucking weird. Um, repulsive eye jutsu destruction heavily laid. Repulsive eye. So are you going to blow them away with planets? Not planetary, but almighty push and then slice them with the sword? That's what I'm assuming you're going to do. Um, his first skill is deal, uh, deal 7% plus 1.90. Oh my god, I can't talk. Deal 7% plus 1,590,000 to a target enemy. Chance to paralyze. Deal 3 additional attacks doing 390,000 fixed damage. Deal 3 additional attacks doing 7% plus 390,000 under the feelings for Sasuke. Unique state. Alright, cool. Uh, his second skill is... I return thanks to you. Um, on attack and skill damage plus 200%. Own speed plus a thousand percent for one turn. Grant feelings for Sakura. You need oh my fucking fuck. State to self the feelings for Sakura. Chance to grant instant action when attacked. Ignore resistance and inflict the illusion to attacking enemy. And chance to grant the extra turn and chance for enemy terrain immunity. All right, first of all, motherfucker. So you do so both you two can activate your unique states whenever you switch over to each other. And if these motherfucking unique states can be active at the exact same time, like you could switch to Sasuke and keep Sasuke's, and then switch to Sakura and keep Sakura's, and have both of them activated at the same time, Jesus fucking Christ, that is stupidly broken. Because you can't do anything to them. You would just have to hurt them. <laughs> you would just have to. That's your only hope. You just have to like, beat them down. <laughs> that's really it. You just have to whittle them. I would say if you can... Try to kill Sasuke while Sasuke is out because if he switches to Sakura, they're gonna reduce. She's gonna reduce your skill damage by fifty percent, and that's just gonna be fucking annoying to deal with. I mean, I guess it's not. I mean, I guess you can still do a lot of damage because I mean, it's a lot of units that's like hitting for like eight million, and plus some additionals. So I mean, if you reduce that by half, that's still like, still a lot, but it's not as much as it could have been. But if you got a unit that's doing baby damage, it's gonna do even more than baby damage now. This is fucking broken. What the fuck are these guys? Why are they so powerful? Um, what's this leader skill? Kona cap speed plus one speed plus hundred percent and three turns insta kill immunity. Um, ability one ex upon exchanging from Sakura grant the feelings for Sasuke unique state. Uh, revive plus three. Um, uh, grant instant action upon a withstand. Um, ability two chance for first strike guarantees a god enemy speed plus a thousand percent. Type advantage against red and black typing. Okay, so I'm assuming is if you switch from Sasuke, you get the grant. You grant the Phoenix for Sakura state. I'm pretty sure it's like the same thing for Sasuke and Sakura. It probably just needs to be reversed or something. Um, what do the gear say? Uh, HP attack defense and speed plus 120 percent. HP regen plus 30 percent. Chakra regen plus 50 percent. Okay, skill hidden feelings in my heart that protects my friends. Um, skill damage plus 120 percent. Cast speed plus two. Chance for damage cut plus 50 percent. Start the battle with 50 percent chakra, and then you got 50 percent regen plus chakra. So you never have to run off chakra with these two gears. These two gears being on your characters, you'll never, ever, 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 ever hurt for chakra. You know why you'll never hurt for chakra? Because you'll start the battle with 50 percent chakra, and then you have chakra regen. So every time you fucking do it, you'll just regen the chakra you just used. Yay, yay, and. And I went and checked myself. You can use any Sasuke or Sakura Shingen or any, any Shingen Sasuke or Shingen Sakura gear on them. So if you find some gear that can fit on them that starts to that allows them to start the battle with max chakra or gives them more chakra regen, you don't have to worry about chakra. With just the gears alone, you don't have to worry about chakra. Oh yeah, don't forget about the special group meat set. Start the battle with 50% chakra. Start the battle with 50% chakra. You're at 100% chakra. Chakra regen plus 50%. You're not gonna have never. You're never gonna have to worry about chakra. You'll just be melting shit. Don't need. Don't have to worry about chakra. Oh yeah, don't forget the potential system. Cause once you factor in the potential system, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks more. Look more chakra cost minus 50%. You wouldn't need to give yourself that, but eh. Chance for blue type advantage, that's probably the best one. One turn, remove an immune to illusion. I'm probably going to give myself skip immunity. I'd really just like skip immunity. Because um, you can get, um, I think you can get that in her leader skill. No. 
one of these guys give it like so here it is sasuke gives it i think yeah grant inflict illusion oh no he inflicts illusion mm, okay i guess that is good to give then run turn remove and immune to illusion i guess that's good especially if you fight like the tachi or like izuna or something all right cool these guys are fucking powerful especially sakura like what the fuck <laughs> that's irritating this ear fucking tating. And you don't have to do anything but switch. That's the crazy part. You don't have to do it. You just switch. And you'll switch automatically. If you have it in auto, you'll switch automatically if you start taking too much damage. Oh, yeah. Can't forget about their Kizuna skill. Almost forgot about that. Let's go read that. Here's their Kizuna skill. Fist Destruction, Eye Decapitation, Cherry Blossom, Thunder Pierce. Eye Decapitation. Oh, my God. Uh, deal 7% plus 5 million penetrate damage to a target enemy, ignore withstand, revive, immortality, grant the feelings of I fist unique state. Oh, more unique stakes. Uh, while under the fiends for soccer and fiends for Sasuke unique state. Wait, 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 hold on, hold the fuck on. Grant the feelings for I fist unique state while so you got so you have three unique states? Feelings for Sakura and Feelings for Sasuke. It says Feelings for Sakura and Feelings for Sasuke while you're under. So you can have both the Feelings for Sakura and Feelings for Sasuke unique state active at the exact same time. And all you have to do to get these motherfuckers to activate is either use your second skill or just switch. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And then you'll activate a third state. Unique state. Feelings for I fist skill immunity and chance to grant action state. Okay. Skill immunity, great. So you got three. You have you got skill immunity, debuff immunity, negative special state immunity, negative god state immunity, all that for all the goddamn immunities. Oh god. They do a lot, they do everything. And the crazy part is I just zero costed my Kizuna, Minato, and Naruto. And I feel like I don't even need to rush to zero cost these guys. I think I can pull one and be fucking fine. I don't need to rush to zero cost them because I still use V4 God Lee Naruto. I use God Kashi. I can use them and I can use the zero cost of uh, Minato and Naruto. So I don't even need to rush to zero cost them. That's the crazy part. I can pull one and be fine for a long ass time. That's crazy. That's fucking insane. Run Gaikashi, then run that's uh, V4 Naruto, then run the start off with Sakura. Actually, yeah, yeah, start off with Sakura. That way I could switch over. And that way if I switch over to Sasuke, I don't have to worry about um Hashirama clapping my cheek because he doesn't like Uchiha's. And then run um uh, the other um the other the the other keys with the Miyato and Naruto. Have Minato right there, he can reduce skill damage by 10,000%. Um, Naruto can remove uh, and skip positive and god states. Positive states and positive god states. This is a fucking broken unit. This is a disgusting. I just need one. I don't even need to zero cost them. I can wait I can wait a long ass time before I actually need to zero cost them. I can wait a month or two before I need to zero cost them again. Actually, I could probably wait longer than that. Probably three or four months before I need to zero cost them. And by that point, they probably would have released so many packs that you can buy dupe stones and uh, cost reduction stones from that you don't that you can zero cost them just from that. I'm good. I just need to get one. If I can just get one, I'm done. That's actually fucking. They are strong as shit. Holy fuck. All right. But um, that's gonna be it for this video right here, guys. They're coming out tomorrow, I think. Or um, when are they coming out again? I know they got dropped in the news. I know somebody dropped them in the news. Let's see. I know somebody dropped them in the news. Damn it. Oh, yeah. For this banner, the Kizuna banner, 6 multi and beyond, rates for this Kizuna are 6%. So if you start off at the 6, so if you go to 6 multi and beyond, they start off at 6%. Wish more banners would do that. Uh, thanks for doing that. That allows me pulling dupes a little bit easier than 2%. <laughs> so I, I appreciate that. So it's 6 multi and beyond. I, I really do appreciate that. That is fucking awesome. Thank God. It's a ranking event for their gears as well. So it'll be a ranking event ticket that I can then use to um, grab some more um, God gear out of the shop. Um, don't know whose gear I was going to grab. I might grab guys for right now. And then I, I should just grab Itachi's and stop being stupid because it's going to be a new Itachi coming out. So I should just grab Itachi and stop being dumb.
but and especially because they're ranking event, I can wait. I waited before I can wait now, so I'm gonna grab Itachi's and stop being dumb. So that's probably gonna be the plan right there. And these guys are coming out, yep, tomorrow at their normal time. Awesome. Go ahead and put this on here for my um, emote. All right, yep, done. So I'm gonna finish up this event right here, and then I'll be ready to go for this one. All right, y'all, that's gonna be it for this video right here. You guys like this video, you wanna see more? Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that bullshit. This me, boy, Blazehood. Peace out.